Meanwhile, social media politics is heating up in the U.S. There's a raging debate around political disinformation, a debate that dwells into the tricky questions of free speech and Internet governance. Did Twitter play into Donald Trump's hands by fact-checking him? The developments say it most likely did. The fallout is bigger than we expected. The U.S. president now wants to curtail the the power of major social media platforms. Thank you very much. And he's set to issue an executive order, an order aimed at reaffirming the White House's authority over social media companies. The order will reinterpret an old law, a 1996 law that shields websites and tech companies from lawsuits. A draft version has been released. Let me tell you what it seeks to achieve. This law specifically targets this executive order targets a law known as the Communications Decency Act, Section 230. This legislation provides broad immunity to websites that curate and moderate their own platforms. The draft order says this practice is fundamentally un-American and anti-democratic. It says that when powerful social media companies censor opinions with which they disagree, they exercise a dangerous power. A no-holds-barred order, which accuses social media platforms of invoking irrational justifications to censor every American's right to free speech. This order faults Google for helping Chinese government police its citizens. It blames Twitter for spreading Chinese propaganda and Facebook for profiting from Chinese advertising. These are three of the biggest names in Silicon Valley and they're on target. Two of them are also at odds. They're not on the same page over this controversy. Twitter and Facebook, Jack Dorsey and Mark Zuckerberg, they are facing off over fact-checking their president. Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, says, and I'm quoting, privately owned digital platforms should not act as the arbiter of truth. He doesn't like fact-checking. He says Facebook has a different policy than Twitter on such issues. He says that online platforms should not be in a position of fact-checking somebody. But he's not too happy with Trump's decision either. Zuckerberg says that choosing to censor a platform over censorship does not strike him as the right reflex. Jack Dorsey did not take these words too kindly. He sent out a message to his contemporary on his own platform, Twitter. And I'm quoting again. There is someone ultimately accountable for our actions as a company, and that's me. We'll continue to point out incorrect or disputed information about elections globally. This does not make us an arbiter of truth. Our intention is to connect the dots of conflicting statements so that people can judge for themselves. So we are six months away from the U.S. presidential election. Social media platforms are not ready to deal with political disinformation. And the president of the United States does not want to be corrected. Meanwhile, coronavirus deaths have passed the 100,000 mark in America. This is the state of America as of 28th May.